My name is Karin Glasemann and I work as digital coordinator for the Swedish National Museum. The National Museum is uh, the Swedish Museum of Art and Design, and we have a collection of over 600,000 pieces of art. In my experience, the main benefits of Open Glam is that it fosters a different mindset around our collection, both for us as an institution, but also for our audience. I think we need to understand that the collections that we hold are there to be used. And the good thing about digital is that they can be used without taking any harm. I think the collections become alive when they are used by other people than just the institution themselves. In my opinion, one of the greatest barriers to open glam is a wrong understanding of control. I think a lot of our institutions believe that we need to shield the collections from sort of abuse or wrong context that they appear in. But I think we need to understand that if we want the collections to be part of every people's life, we need to understand that we cannot keep them under control. Something that opened up my mind some five or six years ago is the understanding that closed licenses will often not really protect the collections from abuse, but they will always keep good people from doing good things with our collections, which means that educators or art enthusiasts will shy away from doing wonderful projects with our collections because they don't dare to do that. So opening up the collection is the only way to ensure that not only we get to work with our collections, but that a lot of people understand that this is actually our common cultural heritage and it's there to be used by everyone. Mm -hmm. So my, a personal message to all of you thinking about opening up your collections or hesitating around that would be to really analyze the risks of what is the worst thing that can happen if we open up our collections and compare it with what is the worst thing that can happen if we do not open up our collections. In our experience, when we get other people to talk about our collections, the reach is so much greater than if we are the only ones talking about it all the time. And I believe that in our digital world, it cannot stop with talking about things, but we need to allow people to fuel their ideas and their creativity with the material that we actually host. So analyze the risks, but don't forget to analyze the risk of keeping your collection closed. What is the worst thing that can happen to us is that people are not interested in our collections anymore. <laughs>